بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از عائشہ نذیر دا ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز لیکچرز از ٹائپس آف انسٹرکشن سیٹ آرکیٹیکچرس ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف انسٹرکشن سیٹ آرکیٹیکچرس آئی ایس اے آرکیٹیکچرس فالوڈ بائی وی ول ڈیزائن آر اون انسٹرکشن سیٹ بیسڈ آن دیز ٹائپس آف انسٹرکشن سیٹ آرکیٹیکچرس سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ types of instruction set architectures designing an instruction set architecture is very important task i said basically defines the capability of a processor what type of task a processor can perform and what type of task it can't perform i say is an interface between the hardware and software because ISA is basically the language of hardware. Instruction set of processor help us to communicate with hardware. We use instruction set to give commands to computer because it's a language or vocabulary of computer hardware. So in short we can say that the ISA is basically the language of computer hardware. through which we can communicate we can command to hardware according to the processor capable capabilities <coughs> so what is the importance of isa why we need the isa instruction set architecture basically isa this architecture can only be understand by assembly language programmer or a compiler writer we write commands in isa which computer performs accordingly as we order it we write a program in high level language like c c++ or java etc this high level instructions need to be converted into assembly language so that machine can understand instructions and can perform operations accordingly but machine is a combination of electronic circuits that can only understand zero and ones so finally assembly code is converted into object code means first we convert the high level language into assembly code and then after that the assembly code is further converted into object code that is machine understandable with the help of assembler and compiler that's why we need isa because we convert the high level commands into a low level into an assembly language commands so the assembly language commands are known as isa which is the language of hardware so there are different types of uh, isa isa instruction set architecture is basically designed according to the internal storage of processor so every processor has different isa to act according to the instructions we need register that saves or prints perform operations like add subtract etc this is called load store architecture architecture in which we need registers length of isa depends on computer architecture type according to the architecture of processor the length can be long or short of isa there are different architectures <clears throat> for example the first one is single accumulator isa in this type of isa an accumulator register is used that holds one operand and other operands are defined with add instruct if it's single accumulator then it has single address it has only one operand address so this is called single accumulator isa in which we save only the one operand in the register in the accumulator registers while the other operand would be declared with the add instruction in the second architecture that is register memory isa In this IRC architecture one operand saves at register while the other one saves in memory as the memory operand 
so in this way isa work on the register to memory isa the third one architecture is register to register isa in register to register isa both operands save on registers and add instructions will perform on registers it's the most famous type of isa architecture that is used in risk architecture too and the fourth one architecture is memory to memory isa in this architecture both operands are in memory and perform add function directly add operation directly so these are all different ways to perform same add operation in different architectures in different ways so hopefully you understand different types of isas designing an isa is mainly depend on the architecture according to the internal storage of processor so first we have to determine the internal storage of processor and according to that the suitable architecture for isa so this is the first step of designing the isa hopefully you understand the concept thank you very much